Hey guys, it's nice to be simming again. So as you know, last episode with Jamie was eventful. Had a lot of things happen that I wasn't expecting till I'm in it and the game didn't save, so we had to repeat that episode. But now we are back with a new episode and I checked, I did save this time. So we're gonna get back into Jamie's story and continue our little War Rent Let's Play. Let's get into it. Quick little mental health update, considering I've been talking a lot, um, being more open about my situation I am in. This has so far been one of the happiest weeks I have had in a very long time. And and honestly, I'm here all for it. I have had a really rough time these past long time, like this probably this entire year of school. But now this week has officially been one of my happiest weeks ever. So there's just a little update quickly. But other than that, everybody's exhausted because we went to our father and well, things occurred. I have their graves. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to make a cemetery eventually. I should give them a proper, a proper area. Let me quickly do that first. Like we have some money. Okay, that's grandma, and this is dad. I couldn't find mom's grave, which I don't know if, I think I'll just give her a fake grave for now, just to m make sure that everything is at least right. You know what I mean? Obviously, this will be a placeholder until I actually find her real grave, which I don't know when I'll be able to find that, but this will just be a placeholder for the time being as I do not know where her real grave is. Which is sad because I kind of want her real grave because this is a really sad time for me. You know, you just get connected with your sims and then it's time for them to go. Time for the Grim Reaper to take them to their better life. Like, take they've worked all their lives and now it's time for them to be in a happy place. She, Jamie just got up to pass out on the floor. Are you kidding me? Oh boy, this better not be a sign about how this episode's gonna go. Please, Jamie, don't don't make this. No, just don't. Just please. I beg you. By the way, yes, I did see the releases. Let me know the day this got recorded. They announced the next two kits, which are basically about celebrating, like celebration build stuff, and then like for parties, and then the other ones, like I think African inspired clothing. Wasn't too impressed, but don't worry. Um, I will review them to make sure everything is good. Okay, last thing I want to do is just create copies of some of these pictures, because that's why I just need for the graveyard. Here you guys go. Uh, it's sad, but it's a little good spot to remember all the Sims so far. I don't have a photo of Margaret, which is really sad, but it's still good to have all these little sectors just so we can appreciate the Sims that we've loved. We're all going to be in mourning for a few episodes just because, well, this isn't easy. It's never easy to lose someone you're close to. But yeah, that's just what I wanted to tell you is that we got that set up. Grandma! That's the best part about this is all of our old Sims are going to visit us, which is good. Especially since we could see old Margaret again. <laughs> Maybe we'll get a photo of her. Oh, she's taking care of us. She's cleaning up the house. Thanks, Margaret. You're so good. But it's good to see she's visiting despite, you know, everything that's happened. Did she? What'd she just possess? Shouldn't you be asleep? No, you want some cake. Fine, eat some cake and then we're going back to bed. Grandma, you're you're kind of, how are you eating? I'm confused, how do ghosts eat? Like they're, they don't, I don't think I need to confuse myself right now with ghost logic. Cause ghosts are already confusing. Ooh, we got rent, we got our rent, we got our rent. That's always good. Why are you sad? Oh, you need a bath. That's why, uh, let Dan eat some food and then we'll be right there. Little Rose needs a little bath. Just stay up there for a minute. I know you're sad. Just stay up there for a minute. I know you're really sad because, well, your grandparents you knew for like a day passed away, which I'm very sad about. Still getting over that. Okay, go give Rose a bath. She's not too happy. Ugh. It's gonna be hard with everybody being sad all the time. Oh boy, cow plant needs to be fed. I gotta make sure to get that taken care of before someone accidentally eats the cow plant food. Oh no, and she needs to go into work. Get up, feed the cow plant, sell all of our garden stuff. Jamie, I know you're you're having a rough time right now and I get that. I would be having a rough time too, but sell all of our plant stuff. Like I know you're miserable, but like I said, everything is, a lot of stuff's not easy right now for anyone. Why don't you just come wash your hands like 500 times just to make sure you can get your hygiene up a little bit. You can't be smelly at work, you know? Well, it actually got your hygiene up quite a bit. Wash your hands more. Oh no, you gotta go to work. Okay, have a good day at work. It's gonna be a rough work day for her. Do you work today? Then we can stay home today and take care of our daughter. His daughter. I gotta stop referring to it as mine because it's not my kid. I didn't I didn't do anything with her. I, I should stop talking. I talked about this last episode. She is definitely gonna need some food though. If you're hearing anything in the background, I'm pretty sure my brother just got home. So, or either that or there's somebody in the house that I do not know. I'm pretty sure it's the first one. Okay, time for food. 
Don't be sad. All right, you need to shower. So go ahead and do that while she eats. And then all of her needs should be relatively taken care of. Let's go take a shower and use the toilet. Pretty slow day here at the house. Whoa, when did this get all dirty? Well, we'll clean that up. Make sure everything gets taken care of. Okay, you, I know it has to be need potty. So let's go ahead and potty train you. Cause I saw your need. Praise, you should praise people a little bit when, it's basically was saying that somebody did something wrong, at least I think, and basically, she had to choose that basically tell you, yeah, you're doing it wrong, and they would tell you, you're doing great, just here's what we would change, which honestly, I think it's better to be honest, but not be brutally honest. Like, cause being, being honest is one thing, but being like, how dare you do any of this? You are terrible. Like, no, don't do that. I do love the photo gallery wall in here. It's so cute. Not to mention the bedroom came out so well. I love it so much. Speaking of which, we should get our logic skill up a little more today. So I think we'll be able to easily do that. Not everybody's needs are completely satisfied. Oh, Jamie got home from work. You probably need food and then you probably are going to need like a nap of some sort because she's probably tired due to the fact that she didn't get a full night's worth of sleep. Wonderful. You did good. Okay, let's see her. Uh, flashcards teach basic needs. I want to get her logic up. And Jamie's just having a rough day. Like, uh, it's not getting any easy for her. You were just not having a good time. Why don't you go downstairs? Actually, take a nap on the couch. The couch looks more comfortable right now. Just take like, a quick power nap. Just so we can get some of your energy back. And, well, Jace up here will take care of parenting. What level of uh, thinking is she at? One. No wonder I need to teach her some more. Sing him a song. Sing her dad a song. I'm pretty sure he'll like that. It'll definitely make him feel great. I feel happy if my kid sang a song. Let's have him watch him for a little bit. Having Rose watch dad. Having Rose watch Jace is a good idea because it helps get up their thinking skill a little quicker. So if we just watch him like twice, I think we'll be able to get to level two so she can start doing stuff on her own for that. Come on a little more. Yes. All right, she's tired. Let's get her a nap, even though it's uh, one in the afternoon. That's not technically like completely like, oh my gosh, like why is she tired? Like, no, it's more like, yeah, I can understand why a toddler would be tired at that point. Okay, don't you need to get like your charisma skill up? Yeah, you need to get to level five. So why don't you talk in the mirror for a little bit? Yeah, I know you're having a rough day. But look at the bright side. Someone tell me what a bright side is. Um, play with your cow plant. Pet that. That'll make you happy. I still want to get two units to rent out, which is very hard, just considering the amount of money it requires. She likes gardening, so that'll get her happiness up. Make her have some more fun. Just have her talk to her plants for a little bit to make her feel better. No, Neil, I can't talk right now. Oh boy, it's gonna be so weird when he becomes old. Is that getting up for fun? Yeah, playing the cow plant's getting up for fun. Still need names for that thing. Feel free to tell me any. I do want to name the cow plant. I do read my comments. At least I try to, I do my best. Depends on my mood. If I'm feeling like, oh, so happy, I'll read them. If I'm feeling like, oh, I hate myself, I wouldn't read them. But most of the time I feel like, ooh, I'm so happy. <laughs> this area is still very sad, just with the photos and everything. I just missed them, that's all. Oh no, she's crying, what's the matter, what's the matter? Shush, 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 what's the problem, what's the problem? Mom's on the way. No, don't nag her, that will make her feel better. Maybe give her a hug, that, that, give her a hug. Make your daughter feel comfy and happy. There you go. I know it's really hard with everything going on right now. Hey, what's up, sis? What to want to see this new Simpsagram meme I found? Thought it was pretty funny. What do you think? Let's call it low because she's cringe. She think it's funny. Oh, she can unlock the new milestone. What milestone did you just unlock? Oh no, who's calling? Oh, just a friend would like to hang out. Maybe hanging out with a friend is just what we need. Wait, is he coming here? Oh, he's coming here. Well, maybe this is just what we need. Maybe we need to hang out with someone to really make ourselves feel better. Ah, uh, that, this, this animation, I'll get the Sims 4 team some credit. This animation is cute. I don't want to join sports. Uh, why are you in my child's bedroom? Oh, you're just commenting on me hanging out with my kid. Ah, oh, she's adorable. All right, now go talk to your friend to make yourself feel better. Everything's been really hard lately. Complain about problems, probably a good idea. Just let it all out. I think what you need is a lot of affection. Like you need some hugs, maybe spout some memes. Enthuse about the gardening you've been doing recently. He's gloomy. Oh, that's not helpful. Especially when you're not feeling happy. Pizza sounds like a great idea. I'm pretty sure everybody would benefit from that. It's almost dinner time, so let's order one. Let's get a kebab pizza. Just a different one. Something we haven't gotten. Oh, yeah, I just think she just needs some support in this time right now. No, you don't need cake. We just ordered a pizza. What part of ordering a pizza don't you understand? Wow, she's really sad. Discuss his stressed mood. That will always make people feel better. Have a deep conversation. 
situation. Hey, don't lecture me. It's funny, we're supposed to be like really good friends and I know nothing about him. Pizza's still not here. Where my gosh dang pizza? You're unemployed. You should really get a job. Can I encourage him to get a job? Because I really think he should get a job. Well, let's get to know him. Let's get to know him before we do anything. Ask for a small loan. Ask for a large loan. I mean, he might give it. I mean, we're good friends. And he's in a good mood. So, can we have money? He just gave me a $2,000 loan. Pay it back. Can I pay it back? I can pay. I just got a $2,000 loan from a friend. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Don't worry. You'll have that money back in no time. Grab some pizza. Everybody can have some pizza. Yeah, we can all eat in the living room. If you're all feeling like that, we probably should. We just spent $25. Oh, that was a pizza. I'm like, I'm like, did someone just spend money without my permission? Oh, there's a mom photo hidden down here. Lauren photo. Uh, didn't know that was hidden down there. You didn't want to finish your pizza? You should probably get home. Just so we can just relax and have a nice evening. Thank you for coming. There's a dog barking outside my window right now. It's not being very beneficial. I think what's especially hard is just everybody is sad. And I just scammed one of my friends out of 2,000 simoleons. What did I even tell him? Like, hey, so, um, I have this good idea to make money. I just need some money to get more apartments. There's a second lot in the world, so maybe we can purchase a secondary rent. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> That's not good. Do we really need another tenant revolt right now? I. That's a morning thing. I'm dealing with that in the morning. And plus, I've been nothing but nice to them. As soon as I get to that lot, I'm doing an inspection. They can't hide from me, because I'm a landlord. And, and they can't be revolting all the time. So we're heading over there in our pajamas and we're giving them what for? All right, where's this tenant revolt? You have another trash overload? I swear if you don't fix this trash overload issue, can I choose to evict him? Seriously, I'm getting sick and tired of this. I'm getting sick and tired of all these tenant revolts. I've been nothing but nice. And I'm about to evict you because of just how terrible of a tenant you have been. I will promise better conditions if you give me small loan. Why are you yelling at me? I'm justly evicting him. I'm done. I'm done with this guy's crap. Revolt after revolt after revolt. I can't take it anymore. You have been nothing but trouble. Get out. Don't cry. Evict him. You are out of this apartment. That's why you had a few minutes to leave the premises before I have you kicked out. You can't keep protesting. I'll promise him better conditions in the future because that's actually true. You listen here, I will get better conditions. Smooth apology. Let's compliment his house because it's mine. Discuss fears with him just to make ourselves feel better. That man has been evicted. Ooh hoo hoo. I did not like him. He was not nice. On the bright side, now we can build us, start building our next little rental because I do want to get a secondary rental and start up oh, dust on my camera and start getting double the tenants in our building because if we can get more tenants in the building itself I still think there's a tenant revolt going on okay how much would this cost me oh it costs four thousand some more. I think we need to go around and ask some we have really good charisma so I think I know two ways we can get more people we can ask Neil for money okay this just turned into a whole money making scheme what am I thinking I'm thinking of the best course of action for us and part of that course of action is just asking a lot of people for money uh, Have I became a horrible person? I feel like uh, uh, I'm really gonna regret doing this, but Ollie well it's 6 a.m. Let's give it a minute before I hmm, hmm, I do not let it be known. It hurts me deeply that this is what I'm resorting to I do not feel good about this. Let's take some paid time off today is all about just making large amounts of money. And that's, the problem is it's gonna mean inviting everyone over and just asking for loans. I don't feel great about this, but it's the last thing I can do to help fund our situation. I've never really, oh man. It's both a good and a bad situation because if I do that, then everyone's gonna need money. I think this might be our best course of action. I really do. Plus we'll be earning more money than ever. So maybe in the end it's a good option. I don't know. It's really hard to think about. Look, I know you're sad. Let's start calling up old friends. Hey, Ollie, do you mind coming over? We have a lot of friends, so we definitely have plenty of people to ask for money. Just come on over, Ollie. First victim is on our way. Ugh, I feel really bad for doing this. I really don't want to, to be honest. Social media career, no thanks. 
Oh no, he's sad. Let's joke about stuff. Make him feel better. Let's let's make him feel better. That that will get us on the first. See, he's already feeling better. Now, uh, I could really use a loan. We're friends and all, right? You get back here. I need to ask you for loans. I'm gonna own a lot of people money. Leisure day is tomorrow. Oh, that's fun. Can I have a loan? Did you just say no to my loan? I think it's because he's in a bad mood. Let's make him happier. Ask him to pursue his dream job. Compliment his outfit. Let's make him happy. This is gonna be harder than I thought. There's not even any tenants in my apartment. <laughs> Thank goodness it's not our only income. 5,000 simoleons. We're making good progress. Tear the streak. No. Don't do that. He's happy now. Okay, let's see if that's what needed to happen for me to ask for a loan. Why should you always turn around and ask for loans? Okay, he gave us a loan. Thank you, I'm done with you now. Try to pay it back when you can. Hopefully he'll forget about it. <laughs> okay, next up, our brother. He's family. He's like, okay, bye. <laughs> I just needed you for money. I'm making horrible choices with my life. I do not feel good about these. I feel like I'm being a jerk for taking people's money and taking advantage of their kindness. Let's, let's, at least I'm being friendly to them. Let's be, let's say that. Be right back, gotta feed the cow plant. He's in a good mood. I'm gonna ask for a large loan. Listen, bro, you're my brother, right? Can I have a loan? I'm literally asking everyone for money. Oh my gosh, we have, we have so much money now. I just need the loans, don't worry. I'm not being selfish and investing them in my house. I'm being profitable and investing them in the properties. Okay, who should I invite over next? Mai, Mai would, let's invite her over. We have 9,000 simoleons. I'm making so terrible mistakes by forcing everyone to get money. Cause the problem is it means I'm gonna have so many people that I'm gonna have to pay back because I took loans. But hey, I think in the end, it's totally worth it. Give her a pep talk. Make her feel awesome about herself. Oh, she's pregnant? Yeah, it has to do that. Oh, am I taking my... Okay, she has plenty of money, I'm pretty sure. Do you have to sit in my daughter's bed while she's sleeping? Oh, she lives here in Tomaran. Let's make her feel good about herself before we ask for anything. Why don't you go work out a little bit, make herself feel better. Okay, she's feeling happy now. So now's the time to go. Can I have some money? We just got cinnamon. Hey, don't do push-ups, I need money. She got back into her bad mood. What the heck? Let's make her feel better again before we try again. Give her a really funny gift. That will always be funny. It's always about the good stuff to make you laugh. I mean, she's pregnant and all, so it'd be fun. <laughs> it was filled with silly snakes. Wasn't that funny? Keep talking to her. Hey, don't swear around my child. Uh, discuss expanded family. She's like, you do know I'm pregnant, right? Okay, can you feed your daughter? She's hungry. Let's give her some animal crackers and some apple juice. Oh my gosh, people keep asking me about like, would you like to do a- Yeah, you're over here to hang out right now. Yeah, we can come best friends, whatever. Whatever gives me your money. I need the money. That's the whole point of all this. I need you to just give me loan money. Thank you. Pleasure doing business with ya. Oh my gosh, how many people do I owe money to now? Okay, I think I milked all my money people that I can. The only person I can do is, well, I can do Pierce. Pierce, wanna come over? I'm gonna owe so many people money. We'll make it back. I am not worried. Pierce also has a ton of money. His mom's a literal veterinarian. Pierce, Pierce, lovely to see you. How's your day? Can I have money? Let's get him into a good mood, which he's in. Just talk to him a little bit, make him feel good about himself, then ask for the loan. We gotta make him feel good about himself. Half these events are glitched on my own property. Okay, let me just empty the trash, and she needs a bath. Okay, we're almost to the point of asking him for that loan. We went to high school together. Can I have loan money? Yes, we have enough money to build in their rental. Get out. I'm only doing this to build another rental. I wonder how they'll feel when they find out why I'm spending all the- why I'm asking for all this money. I own like 10,000 simoleons and doll- and sims dollars. Actually, 12,000. I've made- oh, I'm gonna have to pay them all back, too. Please tell me I don't have to actually pay them back. I can ask for a, another loan. Now that we have the money, let's go over and make some good rentals. Eh? Eh? Hey, I told you I'd be spending the money in a good place. Legal? I hope, because I'm investing it in a business. I'm not using it for personal gain. Like, this is all business investment. It is not for personal gain whatsoever. I am doing this all for the sole purpose of business. We are doing this to help us. This is not for personal gain. There, I just copied over a lot. Let me just place the plants in. And then we have some extra money left over for the next rental wheel build. 
The only problem I have is just the fact that you have to always... I feel like one thing that is kind of problematic is that you cannot have tenants in your apartment or rental or whatever if you want to renovate it. If you have people staying there, you can't renovate it, which is a problem in my mind because I don't find that fair. I feel like you should be able to modify things without people renting your building because... If you, because then it just makes it really hard to figure everything out. But oh boy, that last guy, he got on my nerves. Always complaining, never helping. All I did was make my life really hard. Well, guess what? He doesn't live here anymore. Nope, we're always looking for new tenants. Okay, we gotta get a bigger mailbox now. Now we actually have a bigger lot. And while we're here, we can improve some of the lot qualities. Like, I'm thinking, a better kitchen design. Maybe a dining table. I think we shrink down the kitchen. Keep the cabinetry. We can get new stoves. Slightly more expensive, but overall better. We can get new fridges. Better quality means happier sims. Don't know why there was an extra door hidden back there. We can probably get a new dining table area. Why don't we set that up? Ooh, the four rent chairs are, uh, how much is like the, oh, 90. I about to say I wanted to get the cheapest chair, not the most expensive. You know what? I think they've earned a desk in their rooms. Not a computer. Not yet, at least. But at least a desk. And maybe, you know what? Maybe they did earn a computer. See, that's nice. Then, what the heck? Let's get a flower for each table. See, that's well worth it. The rentals are better than ever. And I think they look really good. So now we have double the rentals just because I scam people out of money. Who knows? This will be beneficial to us. Now we have two ways to get people into these apartments. The last thing I'd like to do is since we have new people coming, we should really do some sort of inspection on things. Rentals are officially up for sale. And they're bigger now. We have two more. Well, two total. <laughs> and best part is now we can rent them for even more money. So we can finally make our money back on this stupid rental investment. Oh no, crap. I forgot to set it. Oh no, go back, go back. We got to I forgot to set them to be rentals. <laughs> Head back to the building. I'm stupid. The one thing I forget to do is set it to be a rental because now it's just one giant rental. Because now it's saying that these are both just one rental. That's not what we wanted. Okay, how do I add again? Oh yeah, right here. Create unit, create unit, shared, shared. There we go. It's all fixed now. Both the units are available. Wait, before you leave, I think I want to get one like trash can for everyone. Just make everybody's lives easier, we'll have one trash can shared. But yeah, now we have two rentals, isn't that neat? And the best part is now we have two people living in each one. Life is good! Okay, now all we need to do is just fill the vacancies. View agreement. Okay, so that's what we need to do. All right, let's start with our first vacancy. So we can have 128 rent max. Good. Yeah, we can have it for seven days. Who is the highest person you can afford in here? I saw it 107, but we do not have room for them. 102 is the highest this guy can rent, so let's give him that. Let's negotiate that. We'll add no loud noises. You can have social events, and you can have that apartment. Let's fill the other vacancy. Who was the second highest that- Imagine if you- They- Goth? They moved out of their house? What? You can afford 64 rent per day. Why is the other one, like, slightly lower? Same rules. And we'll rent it out to this person. There, vacancies filled. Now we have two people. And I'm gonna hit over there and do a quick- Rental inspection, just so we can get more money. Um, we got Rivera and we got, oh, it's our friend. She's like, this is what you spent my money on to make your rentals bigger. What doesn't make sense to me logically is that both rentals, here's the problem. Both rentals are the exact same, right? So how come one of them is cheaper? Like, how does that make sense? I can see she has a job, thank goodness. And what do I have to deal with? I heard you finally moved into one of my apartments. It's great to meet. What do you think of the new apartment? And I know you're gonna have a baby soon, so if you need a bassinet, just ask. I will definitely provide you with one. But what do you think about the new apartment? Pretty cozy, huh? New computer, everything you need. Have all the amenities. I mean, I built it myself. But I'm just simply here to do a quick maintenance inspection, make sure everything's up to par, you know? I want to make sure that you are having the best life in this little rental. Just enjoy your TV, and I'll get everything else taken care of. There we go. What's our next aspiration goals? We must have a five-star unit, become good friends with one of my tenants. Already am. Have three occupied units, so now we gotta get a third unit. What I could really use is reduction on my bills. Do we have that aspiration trait? I did purchase it, so we're good on that. Creative visionary, marketable, free services, that would come in handy. Is there anything that would get me like cheap stuff? Great kisser, no savant. Ooh, super green thumb might be really good. Money tree, 
I want to save up for the money tree. Let me go ahead and uh, go greet my other rental owner. It's great to meet everyone new who's living in my apartments. I think this is really cozy now that I have the computer and the new table and the better appliances. I think it honestly gives off a better allure to what people want. Wonderful to meet you. So I take it you're our other person? Oh, he's talking about moving in. Hey, look, she's already on her computer playing video games. That's why I provided it. So people had a place to play their video games. But yeah, we have two rentals now. And you know what? I think that might be a good place to end. So thank you guys for watching. I'm happy we finally have two rentals and are starting to rake in more money. But obviously, this isn't going to be easy like we still need to keep getting money. And the worst part is, I owe a lot of people money. So that's going to be a slippery slope that we'll eventually have to come by. But please, like the video so more people can see this. And subscribe to my channel if you enjoy The Sims content. I do build videos and gameplay videos at least once a week. Even reviews on occasional packs. This happens every Monday at 9 and every Friday at 9. So keep an eye out for videos until then. If you're interested in anything that's not Sims Gaming or even a live stream by me, hit over to my main channel, Garewolf, which is linked on this network. Just simply go to the main page and you'll find it. There I play other gaming content that isn't The Sims and also stream every Friday. You can join me there. I welcome both communities. I hope you guys are enjoying Sim- But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the nice temperatures. I have my window open right now and it's lovely. And hopefully I'll pay all these people back. And I'll see you again soon. Bye!